Now we are joined in the Harvey Norman Lounge by editor of Beauty EQ, Trudy Brewer, to talk about the most important framers on our face and making them bold and beautiful. Morning, Trudy. Morning, Mal. How so, are you? I'm very well. So we're talking about brows today. Are. Uh, there have been so many different trends really over the year. I mean, what's the brow trend, or over the years, shall I say, what's the brow trend today? I think today it's back to the brows you were born with, really. A natural, full brow with lots of definition and some texture to it. You know, I think we've plucked our brows back too much over the years. So when you look at the most flattering brow, it tends to be the one that suits your face. So a bigger brow, um, a boyish brow is what, there's, what most experts are calling it. Um, and just leave it alone a little bit, let a little bit of hair grow in, have a few strays, have it looking more natural. Oh, okay. Yeah. Natural brows, that's something quite unusual. Yeah. Uh, so what are the benefits of having a fuller brow? Your face just looks polished. We were talking about it yeah. earlier. You look groomed, you need less makeup. Um, the brow frames the eye, and as you get older, you tend to want a little bit more definition around the eye area, so that's what it does. It actually is there to frame the eye. It does. It makes a remarkable difference, it doesn't does. it? It really does. Incredible. So for the people that have severely overplucked them, the 80s and the 90s were not kind to brows, and a lot of people went for those really thin yeah. lines and then drew them back on. <laughs> uh, they don't fully recover, do they? No. It's the anorexic brow, we call it. It. Um, <laughs> so what can you do? What's a bit of DIY? You can change it with products and grooming it, but you really do have to go through a painstaking process of growing back the hair. If the hair doesn't grow back, there are options. There's um, browography is a great option, which is almost like a brow embroidery that you can re-etch in hairs. Oh, I'll talk about that in a minute. Would, yeah. So this is you that. getting your brows. What's happening in this picture of these videos here? So I'm with Tonya Crooks here. She is a celebrity brow artist in LA, and she um, grooms the likes of Gwyneth Paltrow well, she'd have and a work, Fergie and work cut out for her there. She's and got really me. Ones. Um, <laughs> so she was on a, a trip here in Auckland um, a few months ago. She, her whole philosophy is to have the brows that you were born with. What's she know? doing there? A little bit of wax on the top with those little stray stray hairs, and then grooming. Her idea is to highlight the brow after she's she's shaped it. She tends to groom the brow first and then pluck and straighten it, which is a great idea because if you pluck and and you know take away all the hairs, you've got nothing left to groom. Wow. So she grooms first and then straightens, and that's the old before and after there. They look great. Yeah. So if you're doing your brows at home, what are some top three DIY tips? Well, the first thing I would do is have a brow consultation with an expert, mm -hmm. because you look at your brows quite differently to the way they do. Yeah. Secondly, colour match is essential, and always go slightly lighter, okay. because you're filling in the skin, not the hair when you're grooming a brow. Right. And the third thing is don't overpluck them. You know, there is a real tendency to be obsessed with them. Brows are, they're sisters, they're not twins, so they shouldn't be identical. So Good. don't overpluck. Good, because everyone's always got that one that's slightly thinner and a bit Slight, slightly yeah. stranger you than the can, others. You can, correct. Now, if you do want a more permanent option, you can get them tattooed, like you, you briefly can. mentioned before. So tell me all about this. Well, there's tattooing and there's tattooing. Yeah. Right? And I would always opt for an etching or a brow embroidery, which is what I've had done So before. this is you getting, God, that looks... Yeah. Yeah, it starts with a colour match. <laughs> this is at On Brow House. They do uh, browography, so they work really hard to get a great shape for your face. So they oh, wow. face map first, they colour match. You can see the little coloured dots on my skin to make sure it's correct. And then they go through with a calligraphy style pen and etch in fine, tiny almost like hair-like strokes. So they actually draw hairs on yeah. and it doesn't change colour and look a different colour to your natural brow? It fades because it's a vegetable ink but it doesn't leave a nasty stain like some tattooing has done in the past. Wow, that looks looks beautiful too and it will last for how long? It lasts about 18 months but you might during that time need a top up in between mm -hmm. and that would just be another just whip in, get them topped up half an hour to an hour's appointment and okay. they're refreshed for you. Now let's talk about some okay, of the products that you bought. Products. Products. So these are things we can use at home. These are things easily. we can use at home. This is from the Brow Girl. It's a convertible brow powder kit and the reason I really love this is there's more than one shade in it so you can actually custom blend your own shade use a really um, a nice little brush brow brush and actually just etch in hairs where they're missing right because sometimes for a, a fancy night out you want a little bit darker don't you yeah you do especially mm. if you've got a darker eye it's funny we usually leave this to the last thing and we say this is the thing that we don't spend money on but it really does oh, make a big difference this is, and it? I always do my brows before anything else foundation brows and then eye makeup okay so what else have we got um, and then cut Launching in April are these great new products from Revlon. There is a brow crown. This is the Colour Stay family and a brow pencil. So they stay on all day. 
They're even water resistant. Excellent. This crown's great because it's nice and waxy, so it leaves a gloss. Great, love brows. this one. What's this one here? Looks and like this mascara. one, um, cute name, just browsing. <laughs> oh, nice <laughs> work. This one's from Clinique. Clinique. But if you open that and have a look at it, I really like it. It's great for women who do have those tiny brows and very fine hairs. It's a lovely waxy mousse, so it actually <gasps> separates the brows and, and it adds a gloss. And it set them a little bit as it well. It does. It sets them where you want them. Excellent. Well, I love the look of those products, and we all need to make a bit more effort with our brows because yeah. it is actually quite simple to just get a bit of stuff and put it on and make yeah. them look beautiful. And you've got brilliant brows. Thank you very much. Mm, Thank gorgeous. you very much. I get them done off on wax too. You can oh, come nice. again anytime, oh, Trudy. Thanks. Thank you so much. Now, for more of Trudy's tips, you can head to her website, beautyeq.co.nz.